To open the Predator Sense application, you can press the Predator Sense key on your keyboard, launch the Predator Sense icon from your desktop, or click on the search bar, type Predator, and click on Predator Sense in the search results. The first thing you'll see when the application opens is the Home tab. From here, you can see the temperature of your CPU, GPU, and system. By default, the fans are set to Auto, but you can set them to Max Speed or to Custom Speeds that I'll show you how to configure later. Below the temperature monitors, you can also quickly change your lighting profile, which I'll show you how to customize in a bit, as well as set your GPU overclocking. If you go to the Lighting tab in the left column, it's here that you can customize and create new lighting profiles for your keyboard. You can make changes to the default profile, or you can click the drop-down and select New Profile. Give it a name and click OK. There are two different lighting methods you can pick from, Static and Dynamic. For Static, you can turn each of the four zones off or on and also change the color of each zone. If you choose dynamic, you have a few more options. You can choose from a few different light effects, and also the speed at which those effects move. You can select from different colors, and you can change how bright the lighting gets. If you ever want to remove one of the profiles that you've created, you can click Profile Manager, choose the one that you want to delete, and click the trash can to remove it. The next tab is for overclocking your GPU. There are three settings you can choose from, Normal, Fast, and Extreme, each raising the maximum core clock of the GPU. The next tab is for fan control, and here you also have three options. Auto takes care of the fan speed for you, adjusting them based on thermal temperatures. If you turn Cool Boost on, then Auto will increase the fan speeds even further when needed. Max sets the fans to full speed all the time, and Custom lets you specify the fan speeds that you want. Under the Monitoring tab, you can see the temperature and load percentage variations for your CPU and GPU, along with your fan speeds, frequency, voltage, and core clock. Under System, you can also see your system's temperature, your RAM frequency and usage, and Ethernet and Wi-Fi speeds. The next tab on the left is Game Sync. It's here that you can add games and customize which settings you want them to use. For instance, I'll click Add Game, and then click Browse, and select the executable for a particular game. And from here, I can choose which lighting profile, which fan control setting, which GPU overclocking setting, and which True Harmony sound profile I want to use. Every time I launch this game, it will use these settings. The last tab is the App Center, where you can add and launch different apps right from the Predator Sense utility and also manage the apps installed on your computer. The last couple of things are in the upper right corner. The settings icon has a few different options that you can customize for your computer. Next to that is the Acer True Harmony icon, where you can set the default profile that you want your computer to use. Beside that, you can customize the logo that your computer will use when it boots up. And last is a shortcut to the Planet 9 website, where you can learn from fellow gamers, scrimmage, or play tournaments. If you have any other questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site.